What up, Lock Nation? I'm going to start calling you guys the Lock Nation. Um, pretty catchy, I think. So as you can see, got a lot of stuff right here. This is literally all of my gear, except my GVM lights. Those are too heavy and bulky, and so I don't really carry those around too much. But all right, so you know, a lot of people have been asking me like, you know, what kind of gear do you use? So I just started thinking in my mind, I'm gonna do a what's in my camera bag 2023. So let's begin, shall we? So first off, first and foremost, the most important piece is my Canon Rebel body. You know, you've seen this in several videos. I don't need to like go over the specs or anything. You've seen this, you've seen this a lot. Then I got my telephoto lens. This one is the 75 to 300 millimeter lens. Came with this guy. I got the Nifty 50 lens. I actually did a short on this. I'll put the iCard right there. And let me know in the comments if you actually even know what this is and if you use it because I love this lens. This thing is about 130 bucks. I actually got this for free from, an, from a sibling who gave it to me. So that was awesome. And I got, this is the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. This is what I use. I use this thing frequently, especially like when I'm taking portrait shots for our families. All right, but going on, so those are all, those are my lenses. And then, so this guy right here, these are battery packs that, and this is the charger, and I, this is the charger cord for it. And it goes, if I can, on, it goes right back there. So I can, again, I can mount this, like I said in previous videos, where I can mount this right there. And then on top of that, that's not all, I got this guy. This is a diffuser, if I can get it out of the bag, that is. You have the, you have a very handy little thing. You can you put this guy right in there, right in there, right? Right in there, right in there. Um, and it diffuses it, it's great. I, I have yet to use the diffuser, but I know that eventually I will use this diffuser. This is the cheap diffuser that came with that light. But moving on, this is your flash. This thing is perfect. Uh, this is the thing that makes it flash. The little control remote, the thing. The control remote, I do know how to, I do know what the technical term for it is, I promise. But this is great for wedding photography. I have, again, yet to use this, but I know that eventually I will use this because honestly, I haven't shot many weddings, but I hope to in the future. I kind of avoid them, to be honest with you, because I don't like people get up in my face and think, oh, make sure you go get this shot. Go get that shot. Make sure you get this. I'm just like, let me work. Let me do my magic. Let me just do my magic. Let me be me. Let me do me. And just trust the process. Just trust the process. I cannot emphasize that enough. There's the famous line. All right, and then we got the, the good old battery pack from my, my camera body. Goes in right here, right here. If, I, if you want to be a, like a hick. Bada bing, bada boom. And then it just turns on like, like that. And then, uh, so this one, you know, everybody needs a good selfie light. We all know, I'm especially looking at you who's watching this video right now. We all know you take selfies, maybe not in the mirror, but we all know you take good selfies. So this thing, actually, this is the first time I actually, oh, is a selfie light. Perfect for your selfies for when you're just like, you know, I gotta update the dating profile pic. Like, I just gotta update the Facebook pic. I gotta have this. So, selfie light. We all gotta have a selfie light, right? Right? And then, continuing on, this guy right here, this is actually what I carry all my stuff in. This is my little pouch, my little pouch contraption. Contraption. It's my little carrying bag for my new, for my main carrying bag. But this thing is great. I put all my batteries right there and just lenses, camera body, all that right there. Now this is something that is not technically in my camera bag, but I use it a lot. This is my tripod. Um, to show you that I'm not lying to you, that's a tripod. It's a tripod. It's a tripod. It's a pretty great tripod. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It works. Eventually I'll probably get more. My future wife will probably kill me because I'll probably spend a lot of money on photography gear and she'll probably say, do you really need all that? And I'll say, yes, I do need all this. So don't be hating. All right, and then of course I got my AirPods because when you travel, you gotta have some AirPods so you can listen to some music while you're waiting to travel or if you're traveling in general, you gotta have the AirPods. And then going on, 
This is probably one of the most important parts about being a photographer. It's my MacBook. This is my computer. I, I slip it in my camera bag right, right there. And this thing comes with me everywhere. Now, don't get me wrong. When all this stuff is in my camera bag, it feels like a big pile of bricks. Like I'm gonna be completely honest with you. When I was packing all this stuff up to come record, I felt like I was lugging a big pile of bricks. Like, but it's worth it. I promise it's worth it. But lastly, oh, actually, no, not lastly. You know, and then I got my glasses. Cause I need to see these like when I go out at night, like I, when I drive, I, I don't want to be blind. Like who wants to be blind? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to be blind at night when I go out and drive and want to take night photography. Like that's just how I am. Of course you got my charger for my, my, uh, my computer. And lastly, this is probably the most important thing. This is probably one of my most prized possessions. This is a nomadic backpack. Now, a little story behind this backpack. I did a little short, I'll put an iCard right there. Now, when I got this, I actually saw, I found this on the Facebook marketplace here locally in my county. And this, so if you know nomadic backpacks and everything, they're like upwards between 600 to a thousand bucks or more, depending upon what you get. I got this thing for like between 130 to 150 bucks. The lady was selling it and she decided that she wanted, that she didn't need it. And here's, this goes to, sorry, I got a little distracted. This goes right there and it just goes, yeah, you get the point. And then obviously inside here, I also have a night light for if I'm out traveling at night. So I can strap this to my head, we'll be good to go so on and so forth, I'll take care of that later. But going back to the backpack, I really wanna talk about this because back, having a good backpack for your gear is important. Um, you know, this wasn't my first camera bag. My first camera bag, like I said, is in that short. I'll put the iCard right there. But this is actually just a basic backpack. But when I talked with the lady about this, I said, hey, this is actually something I've really been looking for. Um, I'm thinking about turning it into a photography bag. And she said, I think that's actually what a lot of people do. And it's true because to be honest with you, I was gonna buy it, before I bought this bag, I want, there was another bag that I saw Peter McKinnon using. I thought, man, that would be an amazing camera bag to have, but the thing was $1,300. And I just thought in my mind, like, that is way out of my budget. I cannot afford that, that's wishful thinking. So then I came across this. Now, and you might be even be asking, like, what's with the collar, the dog collar? That's to my dog, he was my travel buddy. And so now that I'm a photographer, I'm a, I guess I'm a, a, a YouTuber, a content creator. I want him to be close to me everywhere I go. So, and then in here I got some, if I can finish opening it up, I got some extra cords that I use for my various thing, for my various creations. Like this goes, this goes with that. This goes for my road mics. So I got a lot of gear and Honestly, that is what's in my camera bag in 2023 and come back this time next year, it's probably going to be even more because I'm going to have another camera to go along with it. So honestly, when it comes down to it, this is, in my, this is what's in my camera bag. I love it to pieces. I hope you've enjoyed and you've entertained everything, even the glasses, the AirPods, you know, but especially the, the camera body. But with that being said, guys, if you are looking to for a good riot or a laugh, make sure you go check out this little short I did where I doused my family's dog in a jacuzzi. We'll catch you, and I will actually see you over there. So, thanks.